as a leader, I think I should be under somebody's pocket. But that the people of Meghalaya especially think that if the Congress is gone, so the society will be weakened. I will always try if I get a chance. I will not be, you know, shy away from whatever the responsibility will be given. TMC is concentrated in West Carhills region and in one or two families only. Hello and welcome to India Today NE. Most poll observers in Meghalaya, they are saying that this time, the contest is between Konrad Sangma-led NPP and Mukul Sangma-led TMC. But then, there is a third force and the old force, Congress. In fact, the TMC, the current TMC is actually a repackaged form of Congress. But to talk about Congress strategy and how the party plans to uh, go ahead in this poll, we have with us Vincent Pala, Lok Sabha MP from Shillong. Welcome, Mr. Pala, to India Today, Annie. Thank you. So, how do you see the performance of Congress uh, in, uh, likely to happen on February 27, when the state is going to polls? Uh, I could see that um, Congress will be stronger this election than the previous election. And number one is, uh, in the previous election, we had old people with us. And most of these old people will always branded as corrupt. But in the present candidates which we are having, most of their young, new faces with a clean image. Out of uh, 60 constituencies which were filled at the candidates, we are giving a good fight in almost 43 constituencies. Out of 43 is how many will win. But we have a fair chance to win almost in 32, 33 seats out of this. So that's why I'm saying in the last election we won 21 seats and this time I think we should do better because the people are fed up with the present uh, government, BJP and uh, other uh, coalition partners and uh, they themselves are fighting like cats and dogs amongst themselves. The BJP is accusing NPP, the UDP is accusing NPP. So and vice versa. So in, if you look in that, Congress is the only party while uh, even allotting the tickets to different, different candidates. We don't have a single rebel except a minor here and there. So we are fighting the elections, you know, with unity. We are fighting the elections with a strength, with the image of a clean candidates, image of educated and the image of unity amongst the party. With that in mind, I think the people now are uh, you know, going to vote for the Congress and there's a change in the mindset of people that what they said Congress is gone, this is a slogan given by the BJP. So people thought that the people of Meghalaya especially think that if the Congress is gone, so the society will be weakened. That's why on that ground, because Congress is always for the tribals, Congress is always for the minorities. In that ground, I think wherever I went, I could see that we are going to do better this time. You are claiming majority. You said 30 plus seats. That means you are going to form the government. I do not understand if the party is so strong, the party has such a good chance, which actually nobody is saying. Then why are your top leaders, the national leaders, are not campaigning? On BJP side, you see um, Home Minister Amit Shah came. Prime Minister is about to come and uh, for the other parties also in TMC, uh, Avishek Banerjee has been campaigning here, Mamta Banerjee came, um, Conrad has been, uh, Con Chief Minister Conrad Sangma, he has been campaigning uh, extensively. Then why uh, there is so much silence on the Congress part? We do not see your star campaigners like Mr. Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi uh, in Meghalaya. I think it is wrong that uh, the star campaigner did not come. Mukul Vasnik, right as on now, he's in Garo Hills. Our in charge is here for the last one month. Rahul coming, Gandhi is coming on 22nd of this month. So most of the Congress workers already here for the last one month. So whatever we have, uh, Sachin Palot is coming, Sachi Tharoor is coming. So the... Uh, Congress, uh, high level, whatever we call it, or the Congress leaders, whatever we call it, they are here, they, are, they have been here and they are coming. So it is wrong to say that they don't campaign. But um, it's a bit kind of too late because uh, 27th is the elections and you are saying your uh, 
star campaigner rahul gandhi is coming on 22nd but nevertheless uh, about the chances of congress you said that the ones who have left the party they were corrupt they had a uh, bad image or non popular image and now you have young brigade that's why you have a better chance but based on these leaders only the tmc is running a very strong campaign it's mukul sangma who was your face under whom you actually uh, had the highest seat in the assembly 21 seats you won last time single largest party and the mukul sangma only and now you are saying that it's because of him uh, the party had a bad name you see in uh, congress if you see in the records of meghalaya be in no congress on the other parties Congress is the only party which has a grassroots base in Meghalaya. Mukul Sangma, when he left the party, he left with 12 MLAs. But within two, three months, the four MLAs left him again and joined a different parties. So that shows that TMC is concentrated in West Karhul's region and in one or two families only. If you look in that records, I think. Uh, It will it will not affect us by his leaving the party because he left us almost one year before the election. We had enough time to prepare ourselves. We have enough time to pick and choose the candidate. I think that's the reason I say that we'll be stronger this time because of the. If you see whatever the history in Meghalaya when P. A. Sangma left the party, and it did not affect the party much. So many top top leaders. when they left the party even in the last election uh, the deputy chief minister of the present government preston ton song and around 12 mlas six ministers left the congress before the election but it did not affect us much so if you look in those records the voters remains with the congress the leaders can swing here and there that's why i am saying will be stronger this time but why can congress hold its leaders why do we see that so many defections from congress particularly in the northeast you had 21 mlas and eventually at the moment you have zero mlas all the members you said the four left uh, mukul sangma also but they didn't come back to congress they went to other parties why congress is uh, such a paria in this part of the country i think it is wrong to say that uh, people only left the congress if you see the present government npp so many mlas left them and joined uh, other parties same in the bjp also in the grassroots level so many district president so many leaders left the bjp and joined congress also for example the vice president of the bjp in the state he joined congress and he is a candidate from shillong north and so many are like that at the at the uh, Uh, office bearers level also they left the bjp and joined the congress they left the uh, npp and joined the congress but we maintain a very low profile because we have seen that the bjp through its partners npp udp they will buy our candidates they will try to buy our leaders they will try to buy our district presidents or at different levels that's why we maintain a very low profile and whoever joined us whoever came to us we did not uh, Uh, publicize it we are not doing much marketing because we understand that uh, we are in the opposition they are in the ruling they can use and misuse the power the muscles power money power and everything that's why we maintain a low profile but if you see as on today most of the district presidents of the npp most of the workers of the npp bjp and all they are all with the congress so it is wrong to say that people are left the party the leaders like i told you before here people they don't follow the leaders much they follow the party as well as the leaders so based on that definitely there was a problem at the beginning but when you can substitute a good leader people will come back to the party many of them who left the party at the beginning they came back to us they said oh now you've got a good leaders and a good candidates will come back to you so in all the seats where we uh, we had a congress candidates and left us i think this time we are fielding a better candidate like i told you and a more energetic candidate compared to the the, the previous that's why to say that many people left the party and uh, it's not true many others also join us in the eventuality of a hung assembly if congress is required to form a government whatever numbers you get uh, will you join t 
TMC? You see, if we look in the history of uh, the Meghalaya, uh, the mandate of the people will decide which party will join, which will not. And it's the with whom to work, it's not within my authority. That will be the authority of the high command. And that will be. But your opinion will be sought? Uh, normally, my opinion will be sought. But uh, I normally, since I'm very new, I don't think, but that will depend on them. Whatever the party high command will definitely, uh, will definitely follow the party's high command. As you are claiming that Congress might um, emerge the uh, single largest party or even cross majority, are you the chief ministerial candidate for Congress? You know, uh, I always used to say that whoever become a politician, if you are a MLA, you always have that ambition to become a minister. If you are a minister, you always have ambition to become a chief minister. If you are MP, you always have ambition to become a cabinet minister or MOS or whatever. So uh, there's no doubt uh, that uh, I will always try if I get a chance. I'll not be, you know, shy away from whatever the responsibility will be given. But at the same time, we are the party. We have uh, principles that the chief minister will be elected by the uh, by the CLP by the leaders. So I don't claim that I'm a chief minister candidate, but everybody has an ambitions, and I'll not shy away if I get a chance or so. So you have a, you have the ambition to become a CM, and you would not uh, rule out that possibility. My last question, and that's a tricky question. When I was traveling around uh, Meghalaya, many said that, oh, Congress, Congress is now in the pocket of uh, Assam CM, Dr. Himanta Biswa Sarma, which I have heard in many states. And uh, they say that you have a very fantastic equation with Dr. Sarma and uh, you take commands from him. These are off record conversations. So I thought I better ask you and you clarify what exactly it is. Is he controlling the Congress here or it, it's just a rumor? I think it's a wrong perception because uh, Himanta Biswa Sarma used to be in charge of Meghalaya. Whenever there's election, he used to come here and uh, take care of uh, the Congress here. I was there also at that time. I started my journey uh, with all those big, big uh, Congress leaders. So it doesn't mean when uh, you had a good equation with him those days and the same equation now. Uh, I normally, by in nature, I don't uh, have that enmity with anybody, but uh, I don't take a, a command or I don't take an order from anybody. As of now, I always take a command and I'll just cooperate with my party leaders. So the questions will be in somebody's pocket. I'm the third time MP and uh, I've been working and my credibility is there. And the people trust me. That's why in spite of all the problems, also people voted for me. So I don't think that uh, as uh, uh, politicians and as a leader, I think I should be under somebody's pocket. I think that's a wrong perception. And the relations with uh, someone may be a personal relation, but not at the cost of the party, at the cost of the public. Mr. Pala, thank you so much for giving us time. Uh, many actually thought that this is uh, a battle between uh, Mukul Sangma and Konrad Sangma as the uh, probable chief ministers. But today we get to know that there is another aspirant uh, who doesn't uh, rule out the idea of becoming the chief minister. Thanks, Mr. Pala. It was wonderful having you on India Today, any platform. Thank you. Thank you, sir.